we're not robots. We're not expected to write a masterpiece every single day. Sometimes it comes, and when it comes, it's amazing. Hi, I'm Charlie from Spotify. I work on the songwriter relations team here in Los Angeles. I'm joined today by songwriter extraordinaire, Julia Michaels. Uh, Julia's written some of the biggest hits in the world for Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato, Fifth Harmony, Keith Urban, Shawn Mendes, Hayley Steinfeld. The list goes on and on and on and on. We're living in some crazy times right now, Julia. Um, we've all been asked to stay at home. Uh, what does that look like for you right now? I've definitely been trying to manage. My anxiety has been pretty high. I luckily have been cooped up with my boyfriend who's a really amazing writer, so I've been able to get my, my writing sort of itch out with him, which has been really nice. I think that the tough part about doing music right now is, you know, a lot of the things that we write about are experiences, right? So if you're not able to live experiences, you're sort of just, you know, thinking about past experiences and, and, and sort of living off of those to be creative about. But I think a, I think a really good motivation for, for me as a writer right now is that I'm in love. And that's been something new and fun to write about. So um, that's been Amazing. really cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Hey, that's thanks incredible. so much. It feels good. Not everyone understands exactly where you came from and I knew you before the artist thing because I work in songwriting and I knew of Julia Michaels the most incredible songwriter so how did that start how do you get into songwriting I basically started writing I guess sort of professionally when I was 16 um my sister used to um sort of sing demos around the city and I met a, a songwriter through her when I was really young and we started doing um, library songs together, which is songs for the background of television and film. So you see a commercial promo for a TV show and there's a song behind it. That's, that's what I started out doing. Um, and then just from there, I, I met my first publisher and then I got my manager, who's still my manager to this day. And uh, just word of mouth, really, like doing sessions. I started doing more sessions and more sessions and, and meeting new people. And I was doing demo work around the city so that I could meet people uh, and be like, I sing, yeah, but like also I'm more of a songwriter. Can we like maybe do this? And I'm really grateful for the, the people that believed in me and wanted to take a chance on me. I think people think in this industry that things just happen for you overnight. And they don't. You know, you get 100 no's before you get a yes. And then you get to hear that yes on the radio. And it's just like, oh, my gosh, everything that I've just I've been working for and toured. And to this day, I still cry every time I hear a song of mine for the first time on the radio. Like JP and I just heard If the World Was Ending on Kiss FM for the first time. And I was bawling my eyes out. I mean, the level of anxiety I would have to go into a room with someone I've never met. And not just go into a room with someone I've never met and try and spend a day with them in a confined space, but also to pour my heart out to them and try and write a song. I mean, how do you get over that? One of the things that helped me is um, there's a, an incredible songwriter named Lindy Robbins. And I used to go into a studio thinking like, I had to have concepts ready. I had to be super prepared. I, I had to have some sort of idea like brewing in my mind. And I would just go into the studio and talk with Lindy and we'd have a song. I think it helps me not to be prepared because then I miss things that are actually happening in conversations. Uh, and I think too, you know, I've worked with Justin Tranter for, gosh, like six years now or something. So, and we did almost every artist session together and we did a lot of my records together. And I think it helps for me, because I can be quite, quite a nervous person, to have that buffer. You know, Justin and I work so well together, and if, it feels really good to have someone to feed your ideas off of, because, you know, there may be a lyric that I wouldn't think of that he would, or a melody that he wouldn't think of that I would. The collaboration element is just so um, nice to have in a room, especially when it's a bunch of new people. It's nice to have that sort of, you know, safety net uh, person. Um, so those, those two things have really helped me. And I think too, you know, like 
songwriting, I like to call you know, the first two years that you're writing sort of songwriter boot camp. You're just, you're writing every day, sometimes twice a day with people yeah. you've never worked with before. You know, and I think that's really important because not only does it give you the experience, but then you also find the people that you love working with and you stick with those people. If it's not broken, don't fix it. You, in, a, in a session with Justin Bieber one day, and you're in a session with Keith Urban the week after that. I'm guessing those sessions aren't very similar. And the way people work must be so different. And Selena Gomez probably works very, very differently to Fifth Harmony or, or however those processes go. You know, you would think that they're, they're different, but they're really not. You know, I think we all, we all sing about the same things. We just sing about different experiences that we've had. You know, like, I think... I think writing can be sometimes easy because we all we all want to write about the same you know common denominators, which is love and heartbreak. I think again, you know, listening that's such a that's such a big part of of songwriting. Because some people, you know, it's like like Keith has so many ideas and he'll play you know guitar until he finds a melody, or um, you know, Selena will come in and she'll talk. And if you're not listening to that, you miss all the lyrics. You miss all of them. You know, some people just talk in lyric and they don't even realize it. Some people try to make lyrics, but they end up writing better lyrics when they're just talking. That's huge. I mean, that's a massive, massive thing that I don't think I've really heard a songwriter talk about before. But um, yeah, what a massive source of inspiration that is just being able to sit there and listen, right? You have to. You're in the room. Um, there's pressure to write a song. You know, there's someone's paying for studio time and um, you're in a pressured environment. You've got the dreaded writer's block. How would you try to battle the writer's block? You know, I don't. Um, I had somebody one time tell me, you know, if you don't feel like writing one day and you want to go to the movies or you want to go to the beach, which we can't do now, which is so f***ing crazy, um, you know, then go to the beach, go to the movies. Um, and I think, and, and I, another good advice I had from someone, Lindy actually, was, you know, when we used to write, she'd be, she'd be like, you know, we're not robots. We're not expected to write a f***ing masterpiece every single day, you know, and that's the truth, you know. You know, sometimes it comes, and when it comes, it's amazing. And if it doesn't, like, okay, you're not gonna write eight fantastic songs a week. It's just not gonna happen. And if you are, congratulations, teach me your secret. I need to learn. <laughs> we'll finish it off with one final question that you may or may not have an answer to. Do you have a favorite song you've ever written, be it for yourself or anyone else? If I had to pick a song from someone else, I would probably say, I think Lose You To Love Me was a really special song. It had been a while since I had seen Selena and the whole team because I had been on tour. And it was the first time we had written together in like a year or so, I think. And we just got back together in the room and it just started pouring out all of us. And it just felt so natural and so easy. And it just it felt like home for a second. Thank you, Julia, so much for your time today. Um, it's been amazing to kick off this series with someone so prevalent in the industry. Um, thank you so much. Of course. Thank you for having me. This is really cool.